this one by three sets to two against Tunisia. They did it the hard way. But they got the job done. And it's the third win for Canada. Like Walsh won't be playing the rest of this tournament. Tarakis. Oh, in setting. Oh, Walsh gets. Out, trailing by three. Park Jongar serving, looking to tie this thing up. Is Meloglu with the reception? Oh my goodness! Well, a six pack endured by Kim Yon Kung. It's sent her clattering to the court. Let's hope she's okay. Concerned teammates surrounding her. But that was a real pile driving put away from Turkey came like an absolute rocket in the direction of the Korean captain so much so that she couldn't get out of the way of it or get her body into position to make a controllable contact so it is 16 point juncture to fire the second technical timeout Korea clawed their way back to Great dig out. Volkov, long way down for him. There's Mihailov. 21 16. Poland to go to their second and final timeout. No, they're going to make a change. So Kutsiak is coming. Off goes Vidyarski. the spiker to come onto it with some speed and momentum makes it very difficult to return it was a more static one a little apology there which is nice and sporting from uh, Yang just checking that her opponent was okay he played in a really good spirit in these matches so far
Ready serve. The pressure on Martinez. Touched over. Hang on with that. Set to the far side, Pietrini. Can't make the kill. Binet does well with the dig. Martinez again. Half blocked. Martinez goes again. Stay down here. And it's clearly an injury to the leg here. Gennady Martinez. And it didn't look as though there was anything untoward. Just slightly twisting an ankle or the knee. But she's clearly in a lot of pain. carried off the court and will have to be replaced in considerable pain in close proximity at the top of the net we do see players just stumble over each other twist their ankles unforgiving surface of course that they play on and they end this World Cup on a high Tunisia end the World Cup at the bottom of the table Very happy with the way it's finished. Well, an emotional moment for Kara as he hangs up his shoes to mark the end of his international career, and that's nice, isn't it? Grand Keen and Thomas Simovu engaging with Kara. He has been a wonderful servant to the game of volleyball for Tunisia. He's had a wonderful career, and now it has come to an end here at the World Cup in Japan. And he's going to get a, a hug from all of the players from Russia, and rightly so. He has been a really good middle blocker. He's caused teams plenty of problems. He caused Russia a few problems, and that's nice. He's going to have Sergei Tetsukin, one of the greatest players of all time, giving him a big hug to congratulate him on his career. Well, they say, as a sportsman at this level, you have two deaths, and the first one is when you retire. It's such a difficult moment. It's emotional, it's heartbreaking, you know it's coming. No doubt he'll be still contributing to Tunisian volleyball and volleyball in general. Hopefully he'll go into a coaching role. Maybe he'll be developing the next generation of Tunisian volleyball players. That waits to be seen. And maybe he could be back on the stage again for Tunisia as their coach. Who knows? As he gets a hug from Giacobbe. Wonderful scenes, great moment.
He has hung up his shoes for the last time.